kids won't be running to the altar if they see their parents fight all the time, like they're constantly rehearsing for SummerSlam on pay-per-view at Miami International Airport. The problem is my wife views herself as Miss Elizabeth, who's above reproach. And I'm the hothead speed freak, like Macho Man, because I'm on Adderall again to focus less on how annoying my wife can be whenever she accuses me of being the controlling one who prevents her from working out on the Peloton. Am I preventing her from waking up early to squeeze in a ride for a change? All I do is bite my tongue regretting the day I ever fell in love with a woman who has to buy Kardashian jeans despite not being on top of the porcupine Persian push chain. Holla! Thank you very much! I need to come up with a stronger finishing move to end their fights because giving my wife a pile driver into the Handmaid's Tale coffee book to get her mouth wired shut after I insist on us squashing it prior isn't getting the job done. Holla! Thank you very much! I just saw a shot of Kim Kardashian studying for the bar exam in a bikini on Instagram. So she can practice social justice law in LA to make squatting rights outside her compound in Valencia go viral. Holla! Thank you very much! Social justice lawyers are so hot right now. Holla! Thank you very much! I bet a new variant of COVID will descend upon America by the time Kim Kardashian passes the bar in 2022. By then, all our jails will be emptied to protect MS-13 rapists from catching an itchy esophagus after he tears off the top of a Goya can to give himself a tear tattoo on the tip of his dick. So what difference does it make? Hillary Hammertheim Kankel's lives again. Holla. Thank you very much. It's hard to remain attracted to your wife when she's constantly blaming you for never, for never putting her clothes away. Her argument is, you're always in the room working on new books and jokes or talking shit about my unhuggable cunt of a mother again. Holla. Thank you very much. So I never have time to put them away. But she can find three hours to dye her hair partially pink before work to work in labor and delivery at the hospital later that evening to secure her punk rock girl indie credit Instagram soon after. After squeezing in some more elaborate dance routines on TikTok again. Holla! Thank you very much! How is labor and delivery at her hospital so busy these days? I thought women in New York were having less kids now. Ever since... A preponderance of overweight hobbit hipsters started to pull out prematurely from excessive meat sweats. Holla! Thank you very much! At the same time, Lena Dunham encouraging her millions and millions of followers on Instagram to rock the arm flapper look while resembling the hunchback of Bushwick during restaurant week isn't helping. Holla! Thank you very much! My youngest one. Uh, Samuel, billed as Hardcore Hunga in the WWE uh, Sports League, has the right idea at four already. Admitting to me last night, Daddy, playing with my PP tunnel is my favorite thing to do. I say, then you'll have no problem staying married then. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> Idolatry is off the list, kids. Holla! Thank you very much! This is me explaining... Idolatry to my daughter. So, God, Hashem, the Most High, hates the worship of false idols like Goodwill Hoodie, uh, Nancy Denture Breath Pelosi, Blowhard Trumpy Poo, <laughs> NPR's inflated sense of self worth because they don't get paid hefty salaries for huge ratings, Planned Parenthood's insistence on declaring it's entirely your body without God playing any starring role in creating a smoking hot enough body. Boasting swinging 36 Ds to get pregnant by mistake again. Holla! Thank you very much! Daughter says, what if I want to get into Buddha? I reply, only if you have a verifiable photographic memory. Holla! Thank you very much! Plus, God has no problem with you incorporating meditation into your life, Matilda. Daughter says, What's meditation, Daddy? I say, it's a series of breathing exercises you do with your eyes closed to feel like a less all-over-the-place Jew. Daughter says, 
You're not very good at meditation, are you, Daddy? Holla! Thank you very much! Daughter, that's fine. Idolatry is off the list. Holla! Thank you, Hashem, the Most High, very much. Shabbat Shalom, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Welcome to the Do It All Dad Year Podcast. Jokes Gen X dads understand. Dad-friendly entertainment for you and me. Controlling our kids to comedy can make our kids great again. My three fuss-free kids, 90% of the time, are living proof of it. My daughter, after school today, was already having conversations with me about a boyfriend. She was talking about her friend, Denise. And how she has a boyfriend who's from the Bronx. But according to my daughter, he'll just go to community college. And her friend, Denise, will go to Columbia. So she said that the uh, their relationship will be short-lived. And I don't understand how my daughter is this sophisticated, evolved already. <laughs> All I know is that none of my kids want to get married based on how much Grief Mama gives me over here. Holla! Thank you very much! (laughs) It feels like yesterday. When it was Christmas, and my daughter's only two. She's ten now. And I remember the feel of abject horror and accelerated age when my wife's alleged best friend got my two-year-old daughter at the time a pair of uh, fairy wings for Christmas. And I immediately flipped out the moment she tried on the fairy wings. I said, put those fairy wings away immediately, please. My daughter looks like an overdose at the limelight waiting to happen. Holla! Thank you very much! (laughs) Well, the Americans are most concerned with catching the made in Wuhan virus. Wuhan! Wuhan! Why else would a guy living in the pristine confines of Upper Westchester County, 45 minutes north of Manhattan, pump gas into his silver sleek Ferrari Testarossa in a rinky dink mask? Holla! Thank you very much! If you live in New Jersey, I get the need to block out the smell. Alone? Holla! Thank you very much. The only reason someone willingly decides to live in New Jersey is because you're exempt from having to pump your own gas in the Garden State. Holla. Thank you very much. I can't picture Tony Soprano with a mask on as he fills up his Escalade while touring colleges with Meadow in Maine. Tony would rather choke one out to that runt, cunt bitch Adriana for Christ's sake. Holla. James Gandolfini lives. Thank you very much. (laughs) I'm putting together uh, new material for my debt comedy record, uh, killer set at uh, gmail.com. The game plan is finding a literary agent sometime this century that has a smidgen of balls that could represent my two A plus gem loaded books that I just completed, The Coach Tearing Comedian, and Waste the Height, Really Short Stories. Holla! Thank you very much! So I get an agent, and ideally, they could book me on a stand-up comedy tour, or just get me on a freaking book signing tour, and I could do stand-up in front of my adoring crowd. And you guys could say, I knew the big-headed Jew was going to go all the way because he had the guts to follow through. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> so, I really don't want to like write too much more uh, mask material these days, but 
you know, my daughter was also telling me about uh, one of her friends whose father, who's a teacher, he's not like an Israeli member of freaking Mossad, who owns a bunch of guns and taught her taught his daughter how to like handle a gun when she was freaking two. <laughs> so it makes me thinking about the police and how. I mean, I wrote this piece before, but it's just very consistent with my thought these days, which is that, you know, if you're in trouble, uh, you know, calling cops uh, and expecting them to come to the rescue is not what they're going to do. Holla! Thank you very much! (laughs) At the same time, I'm a tad empathetic to their conundrum right now, where their hands are tied and, you know, all the men in blue are... uh, Neuter boys in blue. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> I mean, when I feel that I could take down a cop in New York City, and I've never been in like a real gym and fight, then we've got problems, people. Holla! Thank you very much! <laughs> so this piece is called, um, Every Day is Standing Down Day. Frank Sinatra lives. Holla! Thank you very much! How did the Twitter mob become scarier than Denzel in Training Day? I don't care how many body cameras the cop is wearing. If you try to catch a criminal on the run, resisting arrest with a high-resolution body camera on, the Twitter mob will still automatically brand you a racist cracker for thinking you could outrun a black guy cranked up on crystal meth. Holla! Thank you very much! Next, you'll lose your pension. A member of Antifa or BLM will dox your home address, and the cop will be forced to accept the job as a bouncer, hired to drag out workers from cruddy office bathrooms left in Midtown Manhattan for jerking off without a mask on as they croon in their best white southern accent. You don't come around here no more. Tom Petty lives. Holla! Thank you very much! What incentive is there to catch criminals on the run anymore? New York City doesn't even require bail anymore. Celebs bail out members of Antifa and BLM because they love the idea of terrorizing anyone who voted for Trump who dares to try eating al fresco in peace and quiet ever again. Holla! Thank you very much! Imagine being harassed by Antifa protesters for wearing a white polo shirt the day after Labor Day while dining al fresco on the Upper East Side. God forbid, <laughs> the research analyst for Barclays Bank finally loses his temper and yells, Fuck your charges of white privilege, Antifa. You white motherfuckers and black hoodies don't stay in jail for shit. I buy my polo shirt at the Salvation Army, just like Vampire Weekend. I also work for an English bank, so I'm obviously down with open border takeovers, mate. Holla! Thank you very much! Cuomo blocks ice from using the NYPD database to catch rapist criminals who don't belong in our country in the first place because Homeland Security was so weapons of mass destruction years. Holla! What Gen X dads understand. Thank you very much! But turning our cities into safe space sanctuaries for Thug Lives Matters most will make our cities great again. Holla! For preaching the gospel a long time. Thank you very much! Is it me or are sanctuary cities the equivalent of of legalized lawlessness on crack. Holla! Thank you very much! Fuck, today in New York City, you could be fined 25 grand for using hurtful language on illegal aliens, such as no speak English. Who's translating these insults for one exactly? Now all illegal immigrants in New York, regardless of getting tested for COVID or not, get a free driver's license to vote Democrat and a hate speech translator to bankrupt Apu at a bodega in Flushing. Holla! Thank you very much! Cops have lost all incentive to catch criminals on the run. Or they'll be charged with being white supremacists for re- refusing to take a knee, even if their fat asses require taking a breather after packing on the COVID-50, for refusing to socially distance from more donuts and carbs for the past 15 months and counting. Holla! Dice lives! Thank you very much! So unless a cop wants to be branded, As a troublemaking Serpico in the making, they're better off noshing on Jamaican beef patties and sticking to serving arrest warrants for rabbis, reopening yeshiva schools in the name of sanity, preservation science. At least Orthodox women are allowed to show their 20 kids TV, hold up in a two-bedroom walk-up 
with no AC. Sydney Lament lives. Ha! Thank you very much! But seriously, cops today are accountable for policing the way LeBron is held accountable for traveling with his head down into congested traffic during the NBA Finals. Holla! Thank you very much! If cops don't give a criminal in pursuit a chance to get away by giving them a head start of at least 80 million Mississippi, then you don't care about affirmative action or evening the playing field for fatherless kids acting out against all forms of authority as a result at large. Holla! Thank you very much! Do undercover cops even exist anymore? Or is that unit of the NYPD being defunded altogether? Mass mandates make everyone look incognito these days. So what difference does it make? Hillary Hammer Time Cankles lives! Holla! Thank you very much! If an undercover cop takes a knee, it means he's still down with wearing Nike sweatsuits no matter what. Holla! Thank you very much! Cops have so much free time in their hands these days. They're signing up for baking classes at the 92nd Street Y. <laughs> They're making ravioli from scratch. At least firemen still run into the line of fire. Thank you very much! <laughs> Firemen shouldn't get too attached to their hoses, especially if they're being used to cool off Antifa when they try to burn down a Marine recruitment office in Berkeley whenever the big bad Ben Shapiro is planned to give another dronish, excessively nasally speech on how to own Marxist mass as do good Democrats for hire. Holla! Thank you very much! Community policing, whatever that is, is where our country is, is heading. The more you see cops cruising in police cars with their masks still on, keep the mask on, cop. You don't want the FBI raiding your home to haul your ass to jail for pirated cable just so you can watch more Newsmax retrospectives on fake news charges of widespread, easily proven election fraud to com commemorate Biden's first hundred days in office since the day democracy died. King Kong ain't got shit on Antifa and BLM, Mahoney. More jokes, Gen X dads understand. Holla. Thank you very much.